the long-awaited RTX 2060. It is here. The RTX 2060. It took 10 years to figure out how to do ray tracing fast enough. And if not because of a groundbreaking piece of work about seven years ago called deep learning, I don't think we would have been able to realize it in totality. How is AI applied to the future of computer graphics? Let me give you an example. Of the supercomputer we built called the DGX2. It learns from ground truth. Ground truth is 64 times the resolution. If I gave you a low res image, I bet in your mind you could figure out what the high res image would look like. It learns that that picture should look like this. We call this DLSS. Now theoretically, suppose we could do AI infinitely fast and I could render at 1080p and create an image that looks even better at 4K then what I've essentially done is taken a 10 teraflops GPU, for example, and made it perform like a 30 or 40 teraflops GPU. Just, um, just recently, uh, one of, the, one of the, the leading developers in the world um, saw the work, and they were so excited by it, they're going to adopt it for an upcoming title, one of the most anticipated titles, and I can't wait to see it. It's a title called Anthem. In Anthem, head out into a chaotic and beautiful world. Confront deadly creatures, formidable foes, and awe-inspiring mysteries. We are happy to announce that we are working with NVIDIA to bring DLSS technology to Anthem. Now I want to show you DLSS in action. There's a, uh, recently, uh, it was announced that 3D Mark uh, released the world's first ray tracing benchmark. I'm going to I'm going to play for it. I'm, I'm going to play for you here. This is as good as an image quality as you can get today, at 1440p. On that side, on your right, is RTX on, with ray tracing and DLSS. Look at the detail differences. Remember, both are exactly 1440p. Both are RT on. This next game is called Justice. This game just came out recently in China. In this particular case, not only are we reflecting on the water, the water is reflecting light that bounces on top. It's called a caustic underneath that bridge. Lighting underneath that bridge is called a caustic. This is real-time caustics. The first time that I think uh, ray trace caustics has ever been done in the game. And everything just works by itself. We could zoom into anything with a reflective surface, and it's doing reflections properly. All you have to do is create this ray tracing data structure we call the BVH. You have to trace the rays, which, uh, which the APIs all provide for, and you have to apply the necessary reflective reflectivity of the materials. Justice in 4K, this video game in 4K, on a 2070 is 50 frames per second, on a 2080 is 60 frames per second, on 2080 Ti it's 70 frames per second. With, with just normal mode, no RTX, no ray tracing. Of course, ray tracing puts an enormous amount of pressure on the processor. There's just a lot more work to do. And so what happens when you ray trace is the performance droops. A little sad. It looks way more beautiful. It looks way more beautiful, but the performance is a little lower. And then what we do is we turn on the rest of RTX, which includes DLSS, and it looks like this. Whoop. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, look at that window we're walking by. It looks amazing. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and then look, when look at you that. To the right here. It looks like glass. You could almost reach out and touch it. Yeah. And everywhere, the whole environment, everything is being ray traced. So, Pavel, if you can call that in and drop it at the end down there. Let's see how that looks. Right there. And that explosion is being ray traced again in the whole environment, how you would expect. Oh, well, you see it in the windows. You see it everywhere. That's yep. really fantastic. But the thing that is really, really amazing, you're, you saw this entire video game running, this entire demo was running with RTX on at 1440p. At 1440p. But what is amazing, what is amazing is that it was running 
on a brand new GPU. The RTX 2060, the long awaited RTX 2060, it is here. <laughs> RTX 2060, 52 teraflops of tensor core processing, five giga rays per second, six gigabyte frame buffer, G6, the fastest memories in the world. Battlefield 5, 1440p, two megapixels on a 2060, over 60 frames per second. Now, when you turn on ray tracing, this is what happens. Hmm. We know that ray tracing is computationally intensive, and it's going to continue to be computationally intensive, and that's the reason why we added the right proportioning between ray tracing cores, RT cores, and tensor cores, so that we could apply DLSS to this and as a result, and so 2060, higher performance than a 1070 Ti, which is, uh, which is in the market for, for about $449, $450, and about a third of our installed base opts for the X60 class and above. The 2060 was really created to um, bring all of those installed base to next generation. 2060, really fantastic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to tell you that the 2060 is available for $349. We're gonna bundle with 2060 and 2070, you get either Anthem or Battlefield 5, so you can enjoy DLSS or DLSS and ray tracing on Battlefield 5. And with 2080 and TI, you get Anthem and Battlefield 5. Incredible value. <laughs> They'll be available on January 15th next week. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2060 family. <laughs> well, at this show, you now have three amazing G-Sync monitors. And they're 144 hertz, they're 4K, they're HDR 1000. The high dynamic range is so beautiful, we call it G-Sync Ultimate. And we have partners all over the world. ASUS has a, has, a, has a monitor called Swift. HP just offered a TV, a gigantic gaming display, the Omen X Imperium 65, and Acer, the Predator X27. These are just beautiful monitors, utterly beautiful monitors, and they're silky, silky smooth. And we worked with the Visa industry, industrial uh, standards body to create what is called async, adaptive sync. Adaptive sync has been adopted by panel makers all over the world. We're announcing today that we're going to test every async monitor the world has made. And for the ones that pass, we're going to certify them, and we're going to optimize the software to support them, and we're going to turn it on natively in our software so that whoever, whatever GeForce customer uh, enjoys that panel can now enjoy it as if they've purchased a G-Sync monitor. The driver is coming January 15th. There's about a million and a half animators in the world that the RTX GPUs, every single one that we've shipped, will be able to accelerate Arnold, which is one of the leading renderers that will go into Max and uh, 3DS Max and Maya. And so for anybody who's doing 3D animation, modeling and animation, this is fantastic. We're announcing today that uh, we're partnering with RED, the cinematic video rec camera company, so that all of your RTXs that are desktop 2080 and above will be able to decode, interact, edit, color correct in 8K. We're announcing today that we partnered with OBS to create pro quality broadcast streaming. As a result, 8 million broadcasters will be able to enjoy streaming with just a simple setup. 
Inside Turing, there are several technologies designed just for VR. The first one is it's the first GPU that comes with virtual link. Basically, audio, video, data, and power now comes from one wire. We're announcing 40 notebooks for RTX. That's just an amazing number. GeForce RTX no, laptops. There are many gamers who would like to have their gaming laptop be as thin as the type of laptops they see other people carry so that they could use it for all kinds of things. And we call that Max-Q design. If you look at the difference in thickness and weight and just the performance, it's quite extraordinary. It's faster than a GTX 1080 desktop. This thin little laptop is faster than a 1080 desktop just recently. It is twice the performance of a PlayStation 4 Pro, the most powerful game console out there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Gigabyte 2080 notebook. 2080 RTX laptop. Look how thin it is. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to help. This gun is bigger. Here, take that. Take that, Marshall. Come over here. Your W A S D. All right. So this one is a 2060 RTX from Acer. 1.6 times the performance of the PlayStation 4 Pro. It's faster than the GTX 1070 desktop. Uh, this is uh, called Ansel. One of the things that's really, really cool is the number of people who are using our Ansel program to take game photographs. We're gonna share these beautiful photographs to visitors from all over the world and share the beautiful pictures that are being taken by these amazing photographers. Thank you all for coming. Have a great CES. Happy New Year. RTX is here. Next Gen is on. Let's go. Thank you.